Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Creation Pro Wrestling's No More Balconies. My name is Josh Holly here solo on commentary for the evening's action here in the heart of Cardiff in Rev's Bar. Like us to make his way to the ring in this brand new venue for us here at Creation Pro Wrestling. Uh, new surroundings for the roster here tonight, but the same old amazing, proficient, professional wrestling. And here comes Connor Mills. The, uh, the knife in the heart of Creation Pro Wrestling as it seems to be at the moment in time. Oh, Stephen, the mic from our MC here. Obviously got something to say, does True Grit Connor Mills. Hey, for those of you who saw the video online, I said I could have made this show, but guess what? I lied. What a <laughs> now it seems Mr. Joe Lando couldn't make it here tonight, but the stars of the has worked out perfectly. Because I have a problem with your little faction, like us, Jim. I have a problem with Nico Angelo. I have a problem with Kid Like Us One. And I have a problem with you, you little shit. Kid Like Us Two. So since Joe's not here, we got a score to settle. And we'll start right now. Starting to pop heavy here with Connor Mills with a big carousel kick there from uh, Kid Like Us 2. Tope by the looks of it straight away. Kid Like Us 2 taking the action to Connor Mills, catching him off guard as it is. Big forearm shiver there taking Connor Mills over to the bar. Oh, and a big throw into the uh, the corner post there from Kid Like Us 2. See, Connor Mills come out here fighting, uh, talking a big game, but obviously not expecting that, that Kid Like Us 2 was ready and up for the, up for the challenge as it was. Calling for like us, uh, like us, Jim's patented brain buster there. Big reversal there from Connor Mills and a big shove off there from like us two. And a huge drop kick to the chin of Connor Mills. Connor Mills is truly dazed at this moment in time. Like us two with all the momentum in his favor at our debut here at Rev Spa in Cardiff. And Connor Mills catches Kid Like us two after another tope suicida and he dunks him onto the apron. This is the opportunity now for Connor Mills to get the advantage and, uh, and gain the upper hand. And a huge kick will do that for true grit Connor Mills. No love for or from Connor Mills here at the Creation Pro Wrestling event. And a huge chop to the chest of the little wolf. Just grabbing a handful of that, uh, that fear on the, the head of Lakers too. Firmly in control now is Connor Mills, able to get a little bit of an advantage and take a, oh, a huge tilt of wheel backbreaker there from Connor Mills and a cocky cover for good note. The crowd here at uh, Revs Bar getting behind like us too. Obviously not a fan of Connor Mills as, as, as we've seen the past couple of events here at Creation Pro Wrestling built up a reputation as a bit of a knob. He's, he's, he's 
beating up Nico Angelo after losing a very fair contest with him. Uh, Lee Hunter, Conor Mill and Nico Angelo uh, had a hell of a triple threat match the last time we were in uh, the Angel Hotel in Cardiff. And, and Conor Mills is, is the bad boy of Creation Pro Wrestling so far. Oh, and a great hold there from, from Conor Mills, just tying up the legs of Lycos 2. And Cocky as well, flexing that bicep. Oh, and a huge chop from Lycos 2 and back at it with Conor Mills. Ah, oh, Conor Mills with a butterfly. Uh, but for a stretch on uh, on Lycos 2 there as well. Tighten him up like a pretzel. Lycos 2 trying to build some momentum here in his favour with a few forearms and another. Oh, and a reversal there from Kid Lycos 2. Cotton Mills going for that tilt roll backbreaker unsuccessfully. Like us too, with a big super kick to the chin of Connor Mills. Both men down now trying to get the advantage. Which one of these two gentlemen is going to get the upper hand here at Revolutions? Running drop kick there from uh, from Kid Likers too, and Connor Mills stops him with a big back elbow and a big tilt the world DDT a satellite DDT there from Kid Likers too dunking Connor Mills straight on his head that could be it ladies and gentlemen and no it's a two count. Kid like us too can't afford to give Connor Mills this uh, this respite at this moment in time. Obviously dunking Connor Mills on his head, that's going to have done some damage to True Grit Connor Mills. But like us too does need to get the advantage and keep that momentum building if he's if he's got any hope of winning this contest. Is he going to go for the brain buster again? And yes, he is. And Connor Mills blocking it. That is the damage with uh, with shouting the name of the move that you're looking to hit before you hit it. And Connor Mills with a big uh, send switch and a rebound. Going for the lariat and he does, he turns Kid Like Us 2 inside out. And that could be it ladies and gentlemen. And a big kick out there from Kid Like Us 2. Connor Mills unhappy with the referee that uh, the kid like us was able to kick out, but but he was he was able to get his shoulders off the mat. And Connor Mills can't afford to get flustered in this situation. Needs to keep uh, keep on top of kid like us too. He knows that he's not able to give him any any sort of rest. Um, kid like us too being smart and grabbing at the leg of Connor Mills. If you can't move your legs, you can't move at all. Connor Mills truly showing a nasty side of himself uh, here at Creation Pro Wrestling. Unhappy with the way things have gone for him in this company so far. And a, and a big jackknife pin. And a big bridge out there from Connor Mills. The core strength able to be able to do that from uh, with another man leaning on top of you, trying to pin your shoulders to the mat is ridiculous. And both men jostling here, trying to get a, a backslide potentially. And like us too, looks like he's going to get the advantage here. And he does. Oh, and a big head kick. Oh, and a, a beautiful series of kicks there from Connor Mills. Oh, is he going for the brainbuster himself? And Glycos 2 hits it! This match has been back and forth from the get go. Uh, like us too, going for that brain buster numerous times in this contest, actually able to get the job done, but unfortunately it wasn't uh, the curtains for the match, it wasn't the curtain call. The fans here in, uh, in, in Creation Pro Wrestling getting behind like us too, just trying to build some, some momentum, get behind him. Uh, eagerly anticipating what like us too has actually got in mind here. Couple of nice big shots there from, from Connor Mills. But like us two sitting Connor Mills back down. Yeah. Oh. 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 
Both men landing some, some heavy hits to the other at this moment in time. The thing is, any one of these shots could, could cause a concussion, could cause an injury, could cause anything. It's just finding the lucky point on the body to, to, to do that damage. And a big shot to the gut there of Conor Mills, and that might be it. Mills able to use his strength to hold on to the ropes as uh, Lycos 2 is just looking to send him off. Oh, and a big right hook to the uh, to the face of Connor Mills. Lycos 2 managed to get the send off, but Connor Mills reverses it. And a big jawbreaker. He's going for that satellite DDT again. And Connor Mills knows what's coming. He's, he's able to reverse it, but actually got in mind here. Connor Mills hooks uh, Kid Lycos 2 in. Some sort of suplex, but like it's too slipping onto the back into like a, a rear naked choke by the look of it. Connor Mills could either tap or pass out at this moment in time. This could be the end of the contest here. It's not something we would normally see from Kid Like Us too, but uh, but obviously it, it is effective because Connor Mills is looking like he's struggling to to stay in an upright position at this moment in time. But he does make it to the ropes, and Like Us too does need to break that hold. Oh, and an octopus stretcher from Kid Like Us too. Another rope break needed from uh, from Kid Like Us 2. Connor Mills, oh, actually, he just picks uh, picks Kid Like Us 2 up into a, a fireman's carry position. Oh, and he switches him. Oh. Is he going for his, his cutter? Oh, he doesn't. And a, the wrist is a crucifix pin and, and, and an inside cradle there from Kid Like Us 2. That could be it. Nice schoolboy there from Connor Mills. And he's got his foot on the ropes and that's it! Connor Mills going back to his old tactics there of, uh, of cheating to get a victory or just cheating to, to get the upper hand in a contest. Unfortunately, Kid Like Us 2 was the victim of that uh, in this contest tonight, unfortunately. Connor Mills obviously getting some sort of measure of redemption on Lycos Jim uh, for, for, for helping Nico Angelo when Connor Mills was attacking him on the last event. But And making a second consecutive appearance here at Creation Pro Wrestling Rio. Uh, obviously, last time out, she was able to get a victory over a tough competitor himself in Elijah. Looking to build some more momentum here in Creation Pro Wrestling here tonight.
And making his debut here at Creation Pro Wrestling is Mad Kurt, the Batista enthusiast you see there. Matt Kurt had some words on our social media channels for Rio. Uh, did look a little bit intimidated by uh, by the member of Northwest Strong, but seems a bit cocksure of himself here tonight in Rev's Bar. We'll see how he gets on against the, uh, the woman that's fresh off a tour of Japan. Very confident, accepting the challenge, taking on the Super Chapman bros uh, here tonight. And obviously, already taking it to, to Harry Chapman, a huge flurry of forearms. Harry Chapman keen to get away from Rio, as is. Oh, and a big fisherman suplex there from Rio. Harry Chapman, oh, oh. Ooh. Rio already working over the PE kit of Harry Chapman. And a big beat to the face. Harry Chapman in the ropes, Rio really doesn't care. She just wants to inflict as much damage on Mad Kurt's little brother as she possibly can. Mad Kurt obviously wanting no part of Rio as is. Rio just sending a message to Mad Kurt, uh, just just destructing his his little brother. Another big suplex there to Harry Chapman. Well, his mum is not really happy if he gets stains on that PE kit. Oh, nice rear chin lock there from Rio. Really cinching that in there. Big back elbow there from Harry Chapman. He's got something big in mind here. And a big calf kick there to the face of Rio. Building a little bit of momentum for him, uh, himself and his big brother. Tagging in Mad Kurt now that the, uh, the dirty work has been done, I guess. He's happy to get in once Rio has taken a little bit of damage as she picks him straight up with a big body slam. Oh no, and Harry Chapman's involved as well. And another big body slam onto his big brother. The crowd here loving Rio. They're just doing damage to these little shits, really. Rio just stalking Mad Kurt now. She got in mind here and big boot to the back. Big 
flurry of forearms to the back of the head of Mad Kurt, just trying to do as much damage as possible. It's really not messing about here at Revs. He's got a big old grip on the pyjamas there of Mad Kurt. It looks like a wedgie. It's not the first time Mad Kurt's had one of them, is it? Let's be honest. Big jawbreaker there from Mad Kurt. Tagging in his little brother as soon as he possibly can. Rio's recovered and a big drop kick there to Harry Chapman. She's going out and grabbing Harry Chapman and Mad Kurt with a big kick and she catches. Oh, it's sweeping the leg. Taking a big, uh, big old face plant on the apron there from Mad Kurt. And Rio's got a choice to make which one she actually goes after it, Mad Kurt or Harry Chapman. Hmm. <laughs> Big decisions. Kurt just grabbing a, a, a big old hold of the leg of Rio. Obviously, as soon as she gets tries to get back in the ring, he doesn't want to in any part of it. Feeding his little brother to the little wolf, that is Rio. And a big old knee to the ribs of Harry Chapman. Oh, and a big old clothesline, he's gonna feel that in school tomorrow. Big kick out there from Harry Chapman. Not ready to, to give in to Rio as of yet. But it's gonna be coming, isn't it? Let's be honest. They've had no uh, they've had no offense in this match at all. Rio just sending Harry Chapman off in a big reverse and my Kurt with a big knee to the back of Rio. Not really doing any damage. She's not impressed by it though in the slightest. And Harry Chapman taking his big brother off the apron. He's definitely gonna steal his pocket money for that one. A big forearm of her own from Rio to the face of Harry Chapman. <laughs> Harry Chapman might not be able to take part in PE class tomorrow with all the injuries he's going to sustain from tonight. A big snap there, take down there, and a, a, a nice, uh, like a big full Nelson on the floor. Harry Chapman doesn't look comfy in that position. Just taking Harry Chapman back down to the mat is Rio. And he breaks it out. Very, uh, a lot of strength there from Harry Chapman. A nice reversal there. He's got a full Nelson of his own and Rio is not feeling a thing. She breaks out straight away and switches it into another full Nelson of her own. What's she got in mind here? Into a, a nice Euronagi backbreaker there. Another big kick out there from Harry Chapman. I don't, I don't know whether Mad Kurt is willing Harry Chapman to continue or just to give up at this point. And Mad Kurt just grabbing the legs of Rio, tripping her up. And she blocks a shot and a big one of her own there to Mad Kurt. And a big old dive there from Harry Chapman all, all the way to the floor. No water in the pool there for Harry Chapman and Rio is in firm, firm control of this contest. Rio just kind of sitting back and observing the damage she's caused uh, in this match thus far. Just casually sauntering back into the ring. Just looking at the uh, the Chapman brothers just writhing in pain.
We're going for a fisherman suplex on uh, on Harry Chapman there, but Mad Kurt getting in the ring and attacking Rio from behind. They got something in mind here. Oh, and a big double team Canadian destroyer there from the Chapman brothers. That could that could be the contest over and done with. And they're celebrating, but one of them really needs to get a cover on Rio because they can't afford to give her time to to recover in this match and already celebrating as if the contest is over and done with but in all truth that is actually the first offensive move they've had in this contest Rio is already back up to her feet but holding her neck she's just waiting for the Chapman brothers to, to kind of turn around and see how annoyed they've made her I guess and a big double clothesline there to the Chapman brothers on oh, a big wheel kick there to Mad Kurt she's grabbing uh, Harry Chapman up for her and a big fisherman neck breaker. Double pin. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Rio firmly solidifying her place in this promotion, Creation Pro Wrestling. She is a force not to be messed with here in the heart of Cardiff. A favourite of the Creation Pro Wrestling fan base, J. Joshua Cardiff's own Cardiff Ball, Cardiff Bread, uh, making his entrance for his first singles match here in Creation Pro Wrestling. Made his debut at the last event in tag competition alongside Northwest Strong's Luke Jacobs. Unfortunately, not able to pick up the win against Lagos Jim. A major challenge ahead of J. Joshua tonight at Creation Pro Wrestling. And making his debut here at Creation Pro Wrestling, Nick Riley in singles action, which is very rare for Nick Riley at this moment in time. Usually a tag competitor alongside Charlie Sterling, uh, one half of the Smoking Aces, former uh, Progress Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Uh, obviously not really making friends here with the fans of Creation Pro Wrestling, but also actually just shaking hands there with Jay Joshua. Obviously a lot of respect there for the young competitor. A big clash and experience here between these two. Jay Joshua, uh, uh, very much an up-and-comer for the uh, the British wrestling scene, and Nick Wiley, very much 
a, a, a veteran of the British wrestling scene. It'll be interesting to see how these two uh, gentlemen's styles mix in this competition. This is going to be a fantastic contest. Another show of respect there from, uh, from both men. Strong lock up there from both men and Jay Joshua pushing back to the corner, but Nick Riley is not having any of it. And both men jostling for position. Oh, there you go, and a nice break. Jay Joshua trying to steady the pace here against the veteran that is Nick Riley. Nick Riley taking the arm there for Jay Joshua, trying to gain some control. And a lovely arm ringer there and, and wrenching on the arm of Jay Joshua with a beautiful wrist lock from Nick Riley. J. Joshua trying to mount a bit of a, a comeback there, but uh, Nick Riley able to, to use his veteran status to reverse it. But J. Joshua has got someone in mind here. And using the ropes to his advantage there. Not very sportsmanlike from J. Joshua using the ropes, but also very sportsmanlike for getting off as quickly as the referee asked. So good on him. And a nice leg trip there from, from Nick Riley gaining control and taking J. Joshua off balance. With a nice uh, ankle pick there from, from the veteran. Both men just, just jockeying for position here in, the, in this contest. Trying to see who's, who's got who's going to get the advantage in this competition. And, and Jay Joshua got, with a nice trip of his own. And Nick Riley straight away getting into the ropes. Knows how damaging uh, being on the mat with Jay Joshua can truly be. It's Jay Joshua, former uh, MMA competitor. Very well versed on, on, on the mat. And, uh, that side of his game is very proficient. Uh, one of the best in the country as it is Nick Riley knows that compared to Jay Joshua maybe his mark game isn't, isn't as strong potentially so Nick Riley needs to try and use that, everything that he's learned over the past 15 years of being a professional wrestler to his advantage to get the advantage over the bigger uh, the more mark efficient Jay Joshua the Greco Roman knuckle lock there from the both men and, and Nick Riley's trying to uh, and Jay Joshua just trips the leg there of, of Nick Riley Joshua trying to get a pin there on Nick Riley. And a nice, beautiful wrestler's bridge there from Nick Riley, trying to get out of the, uh, the pinning predicament that Jay Joshua's trying to put him in. And look at the neck strength there from Nick Riley. Jay Joshua is not a small man, and, and, and a lot of neck strength there from Nick Riley. And beautiful reversal, and a lovely monkey flip coming. Oh, and Jay Joshua with a heavy landing. Still able to get the, uh, the shoulder up from the pinning comp uh, combination. And a beautiful double bridge there from both men. Very even playing field as is. Both men still not looking to, to relinquish the hold of the the, uh, the Greco Roman knuckle lock. And a beautiful and a, and a rear naked choke there from Jay Joshua. And Nick Riley with a pin, and Jay Joshua has to release that choke. Riley obviously holding his throat as is. Might have done a little bit of damage already to the throat of, uh, of Nick Riley. Obviously knows already that he doesn't want to be caught in that rear naked choke once again. <laughs> Nick Riley bypassing the, uh, the lock up this time and just going straight for the arm. He knew that worked last time. He got a bit of control over Jay Joshua and a lovely arm ringer again going for that wrist lock. Taking jo Jay Joshua down to the mat as quickly as he can. Nick Riley with a beautiful mat of straw cradle. Could get the victory now. And Jay Joshua with an early kick out. And a big kick out there from Nick Riley. Very even playing field here at Creation Pro Wrestling. Jay Joshua and Nick Riley, two very different wrestlers, but on a very uh, even playing field as it as it has been so far. Interested to see how this contest progresses. Nick Riley snatching a waist lock there on the on the larger man, Jay Joshua. Potentially going for some sort of German suplex, but Jay Joshua reverses it. O'Connor roll, and Nick Riley holds on, and, oh, and he trips his legs, and a big choke again from Jay Joshua. Nick Riley knows he needs to get to the ropes, and he does straight away. Shot to the 
Jake Jaw there, Jay Joshua, Nick Riley in control, and another one, a big receipt there from uh, from Jay Joshua. Nice send into the corner, but Nick Riley able to reverse it and go in Jay Joshua in, and a beautiful neck breaker there from Nick Riley, dragging jo Jay Joshua down to the mat with force. Nick Riley going for the cover, and a big kick out there from Jay Joshua. Nick Riley might have known that that wasn't going to get the job done, but uh, trying to, to take any, as much energy out of Jay Joshua as he possibly can after winding him, taking him down to the mat, trying to stay on top, and uh, and a big old back suplex there from uh, from Nick Riley. Another pin cover. All of these moves with added pin covers are just going to take more and more energy out of Jay Joshua and give Nick Riley a better advantage and a better, uh, better chance of getting the victory in his debut here at Creation Pro Wrestling just like his tag partner did last month uh, Charlie Sterling against Septic Sid Oakley <laughs> Nick Riley not being so sportsmanlike uh, at this moment in time grabbing at the face of Jay Joshua the fans obviously not happy about that at this moment in time Big old back elbow there from Nick Riley. Jay Joshua a little bit of a comeback with a hip toss there on Nick Riley. Nick Riley able to... Oh, and a big old Enziguri and a big leg sweep. And a huge moonsault lands on his feet. Jay Joshua able to move out of the way. Nick Riley able to avoid the kick and sweeps the leg. And a huge chest kick there from Jay Joshua. Really dazed Nick Riley with that huge kick. Joshua not, not looking to give uh, Nick Riley a moment to rest. Trying to stay on top of him, giving, uh, keeping that momentum in his favour. And a big old swing out. And a huge suplex there from, uh, from Jay Joshua. Just showing off the strength of uh, the young Cardiff native. See, this is where Jay Joshua needs to stay on to Nick Riley. Nick Riley is a wily veteran. He's been through wars before. And as you can see there, Nick Riley not looking to just take those kicks lightly from Jay Joshua. <laughs> Jay Joshua taking Nick Riley down and silencing the crowd and a big old these kicks just taking the wind out of Nick Riley. Oh, Jay Joshua just twisting Nick Riley. And he goes into a nice STF there. Snatching that uh, chin of Nick Riley. Can we potentially see a submission? Is Jay Joshua going in fully? He's not got the hands clasped. Is it, is Nick Riley eagerly getting to the ropes. Big old back shot there from Jay Joshua to Nick Riley. Dragging him up by the hair. Big old send in from, uh, from Jay Joshua. And Nick Riley taking uh, Jay Joshua back down. And Jay Joshua reversing it into a little pin cover of his own. Nick Riley reversing himself. And a big gut shot there from Jay Joshua. Sending Nick Riley into the ropes. Nick Riley with a big sunset flip. One, two, one, two, 
and beautiful pinning combinations here, back and forth. Which man is trying to get the upper, upper hand here? Blue Thunderbomb there from Nick Riley to Jay Joshua. Both men down. Nick Riley had a lot of energy uh, uh, taken out of him from those back kicks and those chest kicks from Jay Joshua. Unfortunately, not able to get the cover. It was a big heavy landing there for Jay Joshua, taking a lot of energy out of him as well. Nick Riley, the first man up to his feet. With a big forearm shot to, there to, to Jay Joshua. Crowd just starting to get behind Jay Joshua here. Jay Joshua with a big shot of his own there, taking Nick Riley down to the floor. That one stunned Nick Riley. A big gut shot there from Nick Riley and a big European uppercut to the chin. Nick Riley just adding insult to injury here for, for Jay Joshua. Just keeps coming at him with different strikes. But Jay Joshua with a big chop to the chest. His own there from Nick Riley. Both men going back and forth, looking to gain the advantage in this contest. Pretty even playing field as far. A big German suplex there on Nick Riley. With a big heavy landing there for the veteran. And a huge end to Curry. That one could have dazed Jay Joshua. Nick Riley looking to gain the advantage. And a huge big boot there from Jay Joshua. One of his own there from Nick Riley. Caught and a big heel kick. Oh, and a huge penalty kick there from Jay Joshua. Jay Joshua picking Nick Riley up for a power bomb straight to his feet. A lot of momentum there, and a huge super kick there from Nick Riley. And a big Spanish fly. Nick Riley a little bit frustrated, he's not actually able to get a cover. Looking to add uh, more uh, devastation there for, onto Jay Joshua. What's he got in mind here? Is he potentially going for that dick dastardly? What's he going from? Oh, the tiger driver, but what's Jay Joshua got there? Is he got like, a triangle choke? And he does, he reverses it into the triangle. See, that's the MMA savviness that Jay Joshua possesses. They're going to like a, oh, a beautiful hold there from, from Jay Joshua. Nick Riley a little bit dazed and unaware of where the ropes are. Oh, Nick Riley able to grab the ropes. Jay Joshua might be making a mistake here, just leaving a little bit too long for, for Nick Riley to recover and get over the, the gruesome hold that he's just had. But Jay Joshua with a big full Nelson. What's he got in mind here? Nick Riley reverses it, lands on his feet. Jay Joshua ducks a line and a huge kick there to Nick Riley's face. What's Jay Joshua got in mind here? Going for a powerbomb potentially, and Nick Riley out to the apron. Oh, and a big forearm shot there from Nick Riley. Nick Riley going to the bar. And a huge cutter there from Nick Riley. And a huge kick out there from Jay Joshua as well. The crowd in London enjoying that one. And a huge drop kick there from Nick Riley. 
What's Nick got in mind here? A nice snap there from Jay Joshua. And Nick Riley reversing it into a backslide. Jay Joshua able to get the kick out of that one. And a huge pop of power bomb as well from Jay Joshua. Rolling him back. Oh, that spinning heel kick to the face of Nick Riley. What's Jay Joshua got in mind here? Is a little pile driver? And he does, he hits it with authority. And a huge kick out there from Nick Riley. Able to kick out of a pile driver from Jay Joshua. What more do these men have to give each other to be able to get the job done here tonight? Joshua, the first man able to get to his feet in this contest. Is he able to pick Nick Riley up and, and hit that get the, the death blow that he needs to get? Nick Riley able to make his way out to the ape and Jay Joshua following him out there. It might take something huge for, for this contest to finish. Jay Joshua looks like he's going for that power driver on the apron. Nick Riley able to Reverse it a bit there. And a big super kick there from Nick Riley. I hear Nick Riley able to, making his way up to the second rope there. Jay Joshua going over and grabbing the leg and Nick Riley creating a bit of separation. Oh, Jay Joshua able to reverse it on the apron. I don't know who'd come off worse on that. Both men having a, he having a heavy landing. But Nick Riley looks to be up first. Big old drop kick there into the face of Jay Joshua. He's going for something big. Oh, and a beautiful maneuver there from Nick Riley. And Nick Riley there with the victory. Nick Riley making an impact in his debut here at Creation Pro Wrestling, just like his tag partner did last uh, last time we were in the Angel Hotel in Cardiff, Charlie Sterling. Could the Smoking Aces continue here at Creation Pro Wrestling as singles competitors, or would they be chasing the tag team division here in Cardiff at Creation Pro Wrestling? Welcome back to the second half of Creation Pro Wrestling. Uh, Nino Bryant just making his way to the ring for his second contest 
at Creation Pro Wrestling. I am joined by a special guest on commentary for the second half of action, Mad Kurt is Chapman. How are you, Mad Kurt? How dare you turn around and use my dead name? Speaking of dead, Nino Bryan is not going to survive this match against his opponent, Kid Lycos. Nino Bryan's momentum is dead already. He actually lost to Robbie X in his first uh, contest at Creation Pro Wrestling. Were you there for that? Okay. I was not there for that. But now that I know that, I'm, I'm angry, actually. It is, it is. Why is he back and Robbie X isn't? Exactly. It's shocking, really, isn't it? And here comes the second half of Lycos Gym. Lycos Gym building a bit of momentum as a tag team in Creation Pro Wrestling, but it both obviously in singles action here tonight. Have you ever wrestled any of Lycos Gym there, my kid? I have wrestled in a, in a multi-man tag team match against Kid Lycos, with Kid Lycos 2 on my team, actually, and we did win. Really? So I think that does prove that, oh my goodness! A big old drop kick there from Nino Bryan, showing a bit of fire here already, uh, coming after Kid Lycos. A big old flip die to the outside there. Nino Bryant fired up for this contest. You were just saying that Nino Bryant's momentum has been halted, but I think you were lying to me, Josh Holly. Well, I don't know, potentially. He's looking to get that momentum back on track, is Nino Bryant. Uh, coming out the gate hot on, on Kid Like Us 1. Uh, trying to beat Kid Like Us 1 at his own game, I guess. It's something that Kid Like Us 1 would do really, isn't it? Oh my goodness, huge arm drag takedown from Nino Bryan. This kid can do things I've never even seen. That's it, he's an incredible athlete is, uh, is Nino Bryan. Uh, coming out of the gate hot on, on Lycos 1, but obviously big old Feynman's carrying a big old arm drag there from uh, drag Nino again. Bryan. He can catch you from any position. Two insane athletes we have here in the ring. He's won me over, I'm glad Robbie X isn't here. I'm sure Nino Bryan's glad that Robbie X isn't here as well because uh, he did beat the, the snot out of him last time, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Nice diving roll over there from Nino Bryan, uh, able to evade the... Uh, oh, and a huge old forearm there from Kid Lycos. The small stature of Nino Bryan's going to make him very susceptible to those strikes. Oh, and a neck breaker oh, over the ropes drops him on his head. Huge neck breaker there from Lycos 1. Doing some uh, hefty damage there to Nino Bryan. That might have broken his neck. Potentially. Probably not, if we think about it realistically. Could have been. Not very often the kid like us won is actually the bigger man in a competition uh, in, in professional wrestling, really. So obviously he's taking advantage here, uh, bullying Nino Bryan as we speak. It's probably a nice relief for kid like us. As he goes to town on Nino Bryant right now. Creative offense from Kid Lycos. That's the thing we've seen from Nino Bryant already. Whatever Kid Lycos trying to. Oh, and a huge, oh, a huge backbreaker. backbreaker. Disgusting. That might have broken his back. Could have done. These two gentlemen coming out the gates hot here in the second half of action at Creation Pro Wrestling. The fans obviously reacting quite soon, obviously, to, to Kid Lycos 1. Nino Bryant reaching for the ropes, trying to get out of this predicament, but Kid Lycos has got him in. He does get the ropes. He does. Kid Lycos Awful has to ring bring the positioning help. from Kid Lycos there. <laughs> Nino Bryant with a standing switch here. Takes him down. <laughs> Nino clearly no slouch in the technical wrestling game either. And a huge DDT there from Kid Lycos. Kid like us firmly back in control of Nino Bryan with uh, wrenching that neck back. Nino screaming in pain here on the mat. Kid like us using the advantage in his body weight there on Nino Bryan, trying to get a quick pin just to take the uh, the energy out of Nino Bryan. But look who's just come out to ringside there, Mad Kurt. Connor Mills come to watch this professional wrestling match. My close personal friend. 
We know Conor Mills has obviously got a bit of an issue with Lycos Jim, starting with, with Nico Angelo, carrying on with Lycos 2 earlier on tonight, who he was able to get a victory over, uh, and obviously now from, from like, uh, Kid Lycos, the original. Probably just hoping that Nino can take care of Kid Lycos 1. Oh, Conor Mills just looking for a front row seat, hopefully to, to see Lycos Jim crumble beneath his eyes. Like. Nino Bryant going for a big drop kick, no water in the pool there. Uh, Kid like us able to to reverse that there, and a huge kick up there from Kid like us. Nina Bryan going for a big springboard crossbody. I was just about to say that after that first flurry of offense, we haven't seen a lot from Nino Bryan, but right as I was about to say it, he hits that huge crossbody on Kid like us. Better separation from these two gentlemen. Uh, as we speak, Nino Bryant needs to carry on that momentum uh, if he wants to get any sort of reward from this contest. But a big back elbow there on the kid like us. And another big drop kick there. And a big old forearm shiver there from uh, from Nino Bryant. Kid like us swinging and missing. Uh, swinging quite wildly. He's making those strikes very obvious where he's going. Nino is capitalizing on it. Mm -hmm. For somebody who's not been in the business a whole long time, Nino Bryan does definitely have a very high ring IQ, able to match somebody like Kid Lycos, who has been a, a, a veteran of the British wrestling scene for a number of years now. Well, and he, as, as he hasn't been around wrestling that long, he has a very unique style that someone like Kid Lycos wouldn't have seen over his long tenure in British professional wrestling, potentially, yeah. The crowd firmly behind Nino Bryant in this contest now. Obviously impressed with the, uh, with the offense that this young competitor has. Has shown him, but Kid like us grabbing the leg there of, uh, of Nina Bryan, trying to get a, a bit of an underhanded advantage. He's going for that brain buster. Oh, rolls him up. Nice inside cradle there from uh, from Nina Bryan. Unlucky not to get the pin there. The big bang there over the uh, the ropes there. The big gut shot there from Nina Bryan. Sweeps the leg. Nina Bryan might have some uh, crazy innovative offense here in mind. The double spring oh moves. Oh my goodness. I've changed my mind. Nino's my new favourite wrestler. Connor Mills agrees. See, I was right all along. And Connor Mills getting his uh, nose in business that, that doesn't really involve Nino, him. Nino, what are you doing? Nino. Connor Mills was congratulating Nino on a cool professional wrestling move. No. And Nino tried to punch him in the face. Nino Bryan wants to win this contest on his own. He doesn't need Connor Mills' help to try and get a, a victory here at Creation Pro Wrestling. Go Kid like us picking uh, Nino Bryan up. And oh, a big oh, package shoulder breaker. And a big old knee strike there from Kid Like Us. Surprised Nino had the wherewithal to kick out of that, but Kid Like Us isn't done. Oh, and a big old double strike. Kid Lockos. And another big kick out there from Nina Bryan. A lot of heart from the young competitor here tonight, Kurt. It's going to take more than that to beat Nino Bryan. Like this Brain Buster, for example. He gets out of it. And a massive drop kick there to the chin of Kid Lycos. Let's ignore Connor Mills for a second. Who do you have winning this match? Nino Bryan. Nino would, Bryan, he's, it, the, the momentum he's had in this contest, uh, it seems to outweigh the momentum that, that Kid Lycos has had, in my opinion. Um, I think, like you said earlier on, Nino Bryan's able to to, to catch Kid Lycos off guard uh, in this contest. Something that, that maybe Kid Lycos has not, not seen before. Uh, Nino Bryan could get a vic victory out of uh, the smallest of situations, in my opinion. Uh, what about yourself? What about yourself? Well, if you had asked me three, four minutes ago when Kid Lycos has slowed this contest, con Contest down. I would have said Kid Lycos, but right now I'm firmly behind Nino Bryan. We're both in agreement then. I don't like when I'm in agreement with you, Josh Holly. Sorry. I'll go Kid Lycos then. Thank you. Well, you're definitely going with Kid Lycos after those big forearm shots there, taking Nino Bryan down. Huge forearm strike, but Nino's coming from straight back up. Some no. forearm strikes of his own. Oh my from Nino. Goodness. Jump in knee. Oh, oh. 
See, that's what I mean about uh, Nino Bryan being able to get the, the smallest of opportunities and make something big out of them. Unlucky there from Nino Bryan. Any one of these pins can easily be the end for Nino Bryan, whereas Kid Lycos is going more for an accumulation of offense to get the job done. Kid Lycos able to uh, retreat out of the ring there. Nino Bryan might have something big in mind. Oh, Kid Lycos able to sweep the legs and drag Nino out of the ring. No more for you, Nino! Oh, innovative yeah. offense there from Whoa. Nino Bryan. Rana onto the side of the ring. Whoa. Connor Mills just stood up stalking Nina Bryan by the look. Oh. Kid like us dragging Connor Mills. Connor Mills. I don't like this kid. He's got a bad attitude. Who? Nina Bryan? Nina Bryan keeps attacking him. This man is not even in this professional wrestling contest. Oh, wow. oh a huge super kick there from Kid Like Us. Nino taking too much time and getting caught out for it. I don't think Nino Bryan and Connor Mills are going to be close personal friends after this contest. A big old back suplex there from Kid Like Us. Nino Bryan needs to find something from somewhere and get himself back into this contest. Kid like us got something in mind here, trying to place uh, Nina Bryant on the uh, top rope. Very scary place to be, the top rope. Are you a fan of heights, Josh Holly? No, not at all. Me neither. I would hate to be up there right now. You couldn't bust out some 450s, okay? Could you? Oh, I obviously I can. You can, yeah. I, obviously I can. If, like if I needed to. Last you resort. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair. Go for that brain buster from the top rope. I've seen them win matches for this from the floor. That's not, that's not trying to win a match, that's trying to end Nino's career. After what he just did to Connor Mills, maybe he deserves it. What is he going for here? Kid Lycos like too, and uh, Kid Lycos like in a precarious oh position. Oh my goodness! <laughs> See again, Nino Bryan with innovative offense here on Kid Lycos. Like Big kick out there from Lycos as well. Not this Cardiff crowd coming alive for Nino Bryan right now. Big springboard moonsault. Kid like us. Oh, dirty. Just throws him straight into the corner. Go for that brain buster. He hits it. That's it. That's the end. One, two, three. Whoa! Connor Mills back up on the apron. Well, I guess Connor his... Mills thought this match was over as well. That's why he's doing this. A big old jawbreaker. Oh, my. Taking Connor Mills out Both of action. Of taking out Connor Mills in this match. I don't understand what their problem is with it. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Nina Bryant it was smart there to, to smart. put all his weight down low so you can't be lifting. He still lifts him, not quite enough. A nice hook behind the leg there of Kid Lycos trying to uh, avoid any danger. What is Lycos going for here? Hooks the leg as well. Oh my goodness. Very innovative offense, and that's it. And Connor Mills get him in the ring as soon as he possibly can, taking it to Kid Lycos. Well, you were saying before he had problems with Kid Lycos. Kid Lycos attacked him earlier on in this contest. But there was totally no fair. There was no need for Connor Mills to be out here in the first place, though, Kurt. He's he coming to watch his, his friends have a professional wrestling match. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That's what I'm doing right now. Fair enough. Yeah, they he haven't attacked me. He could come out and watch. Yeah, he could come and sit in the crowd. He didn't need to get up on the apron, though, Kurt, did he? No, he didn't. He's getting, he was excited. He was to see Nino do cool moves. We were doing the same. Well, now he's excited because he's uh, embarrassing Kid Lycos by the look of it. He just beat Kid Lycos in a professional wrestling match as far as I just saw. One, two, three. Connor Mills with a little parting shot there for Nino as well. Both of these men attacked Connor Mills. He just wanted to watch them have an excellent professional wrestling match, which they did, by the way. They did? I'd say they both deserve this from Connor Mills. Seems like Connor Mills is the winner of this contest and not even in well, the there contest. There you go. Let's make it official. Here is your winner, Connor Mills. Play us music, please. A 
lovely sportsmanship here from Nino Bryant. What a polite young man. Oh, how Helping much there. do you just love to see it? the hour the man with the power are you a rapper no you were trying to think of a word that rhymed with rapper then weren't you yeah maybe I was just a bit crapper very good well done sorry sorry <laughs> Billy Hayes is fired up wouldn't you be fired up if you had a leopard print mink coat, Kurt? I do have a leopard print coat. Do you? Yeah, I just I left it at home today. Oh. Music of, of one workhorse Bronco Brendan White. You say obviously as if I've ever heard Bronco Brendan White's theme music before. That's fair, fair enough, fair enough. You're obviously not a resident member of the Creation Pro crowd, though, Kurt. No, no, no. I've I've come to every single show. I've just deliberately not watched Brendan wrestle. Fair enough. Good point. Well presented. Where do you think he's from? Judging by his coat, etc., I would say probably somewhere you north know, of Scotland. You've never been on a creation show before. You know I won that last match. Here. Now, my record says... My record says I ever won a match. That I only lost one match. Billy, what is the point in this match? You make me look stupid. Do I look stupid to you?
Elisha. So you picked a man without hair over a man with a cruiserweight junior heavyweight belt around his waist. see the fix was in here uh, Kurt where all of Brendan White's team were all wearing black and red except for Ian Skinner I think they just planned not to have him on the team you know yeah I think I think Brendan knew exactly who he was going to pick maybe he told them in advance maybe they all bought matching gear in pre preparation so maybe none of them wanted Ian Skinner after all which is fair yeah it's understandable but it's a little bit harsh I mean let's get him some black trunks or something just so we can fit in And this match is underway. Yeah. 
Brendan White using his strength and size advantage. Obviously, the only non-cruiserweight wrestler in this contest. Uh, using his size to, to back Billy Hayes up into the corner. He really should use that to his advantage, and he is using that to his advantage. So, fair play, Brendan. He is the workhorse, after all. He is. The man doesn't like vowels, what can we say? Except the E on the end. Mm. Not the brightest of buttons, is he, Brendan White? Not the brightest of buttons. I've not heard that phrase before, but it does describe Brendan perfectly. As, uh, as our resident MC Geo said uh, before this contest, this match has seemed to become a bit of a staple of Creation Pro Wrestling. Obviously, veterans of this match would be like Paul Brennan White and Michael Oku uh, competing in, in one of the very last event of Creation Pro Wrestling. Brennan White able to get the victory in that contest, but obviously unhappy that it did not go on his win-loss record at Creation Pro Wrestling. Billy Hayes building up a head of steam with these shoulder tackles on Brennan White. One of them's got to take him down at some point, eh? And he takes him out. There you go. Ian Billy Skinner Hayes looking using out for the, using the momentum to his advantage. Lucha rules means Ian Skinner is now legal. Look at the specimen. The absolute specimen of man. And Remy Aditunji looks pretty good too. He, he's not bad. He's all right. I mean, a decent leapfrog there. Oh, oh hip toss neck breaker. Shades of Billy Gunn from O2 Smackdown. Running Huge European Ian uppercut. Beal followed by an uppercut. <laughs> because his name's Ian. Oh, like right, Beal okay. Beal yes, I get you. Septic Sid Oakley being tagged in. This was actually a match on the very first Creation Pro Wrestling event. Michael Oku picking up the victory on Septic Sid Oakley. Oakley looking to get a bit of was redemption it, was it with this very move. Uh, yeah, I believe it was. He might have got drunk many, many times since that, but I don't think he's forgotten that fateful night that Michael Oku uh, embarrassed uh, Sid Oakley in that, in that opening contest of that show. Going for the sharpshooter is Sid Oakley. Going for the half grab is Michael Oku. Do we play now? Now we play. And Sid Oakley raking the eyes there to Michael Oakley. Very Oakley. smart from Sid Oakley, very smart. And here comes uh, Jay Alexander and Leon Slater in a big leapfrog and dropkick Leon combination. Leon Slater take it out, Zack Sabre Jr. Huge splash from Leon Slater on Jay Alexander. Oh. Huge splash from Leon Slater on Jay Alexander. The king of splashes, Leon Slater. Michael Oku tagging himself in. And Elijah coming in as well with the head of steam. A big old hurricane runner there from the uh, British cruiserweight champion. We've got someone in mind here. A double drop kicks there from Michael Oku and Leon Slater. Take both of the other guys out. Here comes Remy Adetunji. And Ian uh, Skinner. Taking a pop of power bomb. Poor Ian Skinner, man. Remy Adetunji trying to get the crowd on side. Is Remy Adetunji going to do a dive here? And the he gets taken out by Elijah. Shades of Booker T there from Leon Slater with a big kick. What's he got in mind here? And a big old dive Huge to the outside. Dive. Looks like The Undertaker yeah, diving over that top rope. Shades of The Undertaker, except he did it well. <laughs> What's Billy Hayes got in mind here? Oh, beautiful flip Huge dive over for Billy Hayes. Oh, Michael Oku. He knows. We've he knows what he's got in mind. Michael Oku before, haven't we? Guess what he's going to do, Kurt? I think he's going to do a springboard 630 to the outside. The patented springboard 630 to the outside from Michael Ojmo. Oh, he goes for a possibly flop instead. And, he, and Bronco Brandon White catches him. 
He must have read oh. Michael Oku's mind. Throws it straight into the pillar that's holding this whole building up. What if he'd taken that pillar out? What, what then, Brendan? And the biggest versus the smallest man in the match. Bronco Brandon White versus Remy Aratunji. Oh, huge forearm there from Brendan. Huge forearm there from Remy. If you had to be forearmed by one of these men, which one would you pick? Not Brendan. Mm, also not Remy. Yeah, good point. Big old shoulder tackle there from Remy and Brennan coming back with one of his own. It's like two big bulls fighting off here, Kurt. Smart from Brendan. He's not he's not getting anywhere with the tackles, he's going low. And <laughs> Remy goes high, Remy goes big high. Kick. Surely he's not gonna deadlift him up. Surely he is going to dead limp the man. Look at this. Is this the strongest man in the world? Oh, incredible. Deadlift gut wrench suplex on Bronco Brendan White. Cedric so Tillow making his way into the ring. Going for a roll up. He's got a handful of tights. Oh, it goes for the eyes again. Very smart. Beautiful drop kick there from Sid Oakley. Immense coordination for a man who's half cut 99% of the time. And a big old uh, tornado DDT. I definitely think if I was in his state right now, I would not be able to professionally wrestle. Mm. Principal Skinner with a big kick to the chest of Remy Adetunji. Oh, those kicks look so painful, but... Remy Adetunji just eating them. Shades of Zack Sabre Jr. That was Shades of Zack Sabre Jr. with the arm kick. You've done your research, Josh Holly. I've watched a wrestling match or two. Shades of MVP there for me and Skinner. Montav Montavia Skinner. I too have watched one or two professional wrestling matches. <laughs> Octopus stretch here from Shades Ian of Skinner. Mad hurt now for me and Skinner. He has watched a match or two. this the bad guy team are just making like a, a, a chain of uh, momentum here for this, this octopus stretch I don't like the stereotyping you just did there calling them the bad guys well I'm looking at, at Bronco Brennan White I'm looking at Elijah I'm looking at, at Sid Oakley they are pretty bad guys fair play no I will give you that I don't really know what Zack Sabre Jr is like and Principal Skinner seems alright he does he's seem got like a bit, of, a bit of a mean person just by what he's doing right now Remy Adetunji able to, that was smart. to get the that momentum there. Smart. I don't really know the physics on that, but clearly it worked out well. There's a lot of electricity in the building here tonight, Kurt, and there was a lot of electricity in that reversal there from Remy Adetunji, and a house of fire here from Michael Oku. Zack Sabre Jr. with a nice uh, standard switch and a big old kick there Eats from Michael Oku. Michael Oku. I don't know if that's the real Zack Sabre Jr., you know. Is it not? I don't know if it is. Brendan using that uh, newly uh, worn elbow pad. Maybe he's got something in there. That was a big old shot there from Brendan White. And, and a big old Hurricane from Leon Slater. Miss Clothesline. Oh, shades of John Cena. Shades of Baron Corbin. A big old. PK there from Principal Skinner. Twenty-eight 
twisting brain buster from Leon Slater. Ian Skinner is rocked. Shades of Goldust. Septic Sudoku making his way into the ring and shades of Daniel Bryan. Shades of Arn Anderson. Spine buster. Spine buster. Spain buster. Spain. Shades of Brock Lesnar. Michael, please do not hit your head. <laughs> Shades of every Ultimate X match. Oh. Shades of Jay Alexander there. And Elijah in with a big old... Graveyard smash oh. on Michael Oku. That was huge. This could be it. Everyone breaks it. Now, if anybody gets the pin on Michael Oku in this contest, are they going to be have, having a, 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 a worthy claim to that British Cruiserweight Championship? Well, I think it's only fair that if you pin the champion, you should indeed get an undisputed British Cruiserweight Championship match. Yeah. Some people should be watching this contest closely. There's a lot of uh, fantastic Cruiserweights in this contest that could be vying for Michael Oku's title. Here comes the man of the hour, Billy Hayes. A big old forearm and he eats it. Oh, that just angered Billy Hayes. Shades of Butch here from both men. <laughs> Billy Hayes going for it. Is it Package no, Power Package driver. Power Driver, looks like. Elijah with a big old brain buster over it and slips the back. I'm away there of uh, Billy Hayes. And the strength of Billy Hayes. Ah. Whoa, what a move. Oh, a nice cutter there from Billy Hayes. He's fired up. Shades of Austin Aries from Septic Sid Oakley. Oh, Lariat to the face. Into that package. Pile driver, this could be it. You need to capitalize, Billy Hayes. Big old jumping knee there from Jay Alexander. And a nice end to Curry catching Billy Hayes in the face. Tombstone. Uh oh, we've seen this before. Ball bag driver from Billy Hayes. Cover him, Billy Hayes. Cover him. You want to win the professional wrestling match. Skinner with a big old slap there to Billy Hayes. Oh my goodness, into the tombstone pile driver. Somebody's watched The Undertaker. And Bronco, Brandon White breaks it up. Brandon White with a big European uppercut there to Billy Hayes. Sends him into the corner. Then he gets a boot up. Oh, and a huge, huge throw! throw. Oh. <laughs> Boots Leon Slater out of the sky. <laughs> oh, wow. Bronco Brendan White throwing both men over his shoulder. Principal Skinner ate a lot of canvas on that one there, man. Could. Big slap there from Brendan as well. And a big gorilla press by the look of it. Onto his own team. Oh, takes out Michael Oku and, and, and Elijah, was it? Leon Slater in the ring. And a big black oh, hole wow. slam. Black hole slam for Brendan. This could be it. And he gets the win once again. Is this going to go on his win loss record or not? I don't know. You'd have to ask management. Obviously, the last Jumpers for Infos match didn't. So this team one might not as well. But he looks like a machine. He looks like an absolute monster. He looks like a monster that can't win matches because he has a 0-1 win-loss record. Are you going to argue with him about it? Uh, yeah, I'll tweet him. Right, okay, yeah, that's fair enough.
And here we go, Mad Kurt, uh, the so-called king of Creation Pro Wrestling so far. Nico Angelo 2-0 and o in Creation Pro Wrestling. Connor Mills at the very first event. Connor Mills and Lee Hunter in a triple threat match. Beautiful performances from Nico Angelo, really making a name for himself in this promotion. Facing off against Connor Mills' hired gun in Driller, Dan Maloney. And you know Dan very, very well. What are the intangibles in this match, Kurt? I know Dan too well, if anything. And one thing I know about Dan is that he is truly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, an awful professional wrestler. And I really think that in about 14 seconds, Nico can have the Really? That's a bold prediction there, Kurt. Watch it happen. But first, listen to this fantastic theme music. The only good thing about that, man. Really? The only thing? All those, all those horrible things I was saying about Dan Maloney, I'll say they're a bit quiet now that he's here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. He's not really the type of person you want to step to, I guess, is he? I have upset him a few times in the past. Have you really? I've fought him once or twice, yeah. One every time, obviously. Yeah, that didn't surprise you, kid. Nico Andrew coming out the gates hot against one half of the Progress Tag Team Champions in Dan Maloney. That uh, is incorrect, actually. Sometimes we've seen other. Oh my god, they are, aren't they? That's okay, you don't watch professional wrestling, that's alright. I knew who MVP was earlier, though. That's true. Nico Angelo needs to roll him in if he's going to beat him in 14 seconds. Hot is ticking. Oh, a big chop to the oh chest dear. of Dan Maloney. Oh, that wasn't smart, Nico. It's not really done any damage, is it? Yeah, good idea, Nico. Upset him more. Oh. No, that probably didn't, didn't hurt that much at all. Oh. I felt those, and they don't hurt. Just brutalising Nico Angelo is Dan Maloney. Working their way into the crowd as we speak. Oh, my favourite wrestler in the whole world, Dan Maloney, is right, right by our box now. What has Dan got in mind here? He's just... Oh, body oh. slamming I mean, Nico body Angelo onto the, the table. I've always said I love Dan Maloney, he's my favourite professional wrestler. I love him so much, he's so good. He's so good at wrestling, I would never say anything bad about Dan Maloney. Well, I don't care, good save. Oh, and a huge knife edge chop there from Dan Maloney. Nico Angelo might regret taking on all comers that Conor Mills had in mind, but... Uh... Nico giving it right back. And a big old chop there from Nico Angelo as well to Dan Maloney. Just laughing it off. Dan just laughing at Nico's face. Oh, and that was smart. Nico Angelo avail able to avoid that chop there from Dan Maloney. That could be a broken hand there, Kurt. Go back to the hand, Nico, please. Oh, Nico Angelo making his way up to the bar. What has he got in mind here? Probably a vodka. Oh, and a chop to the back there of, of Dan Maloney. What is he doing, it, doing Both here? Maybe for that, going for that Spanish fly off of the bar, maybe? The show is called No More Balcony, so they may as well use the bar, you know? Just traded. Oh, an eye poke there from Dan Maloney. Very smart from Dan Maloney. My favourite professional wrestler. Dan Maloney's had enough. He's uh, dragging Nico Angelo back towards the ring now. Once they get this contest over and done with by the luck, and maybe left. not! Throwing Nico Angelo into the uh, the wall there by the look. Dan Maloney firmly in control here of this contest. Just bullying Nico Angelo, but Nico coming back with a shot. And Nico Angelo, incredible offense there on Dan Maloney, running along one of the booths here in Revolution's Bar with a big flip 
on to Dan Maloney. Nico Angelo with some innovative offense here, using the, the environment to his advantage. And then using his body as a weapon to take out Dan Maloney. That was one of the best things I've ever definitely seen. Can't really see much what's going on here, Kurt, from our vantage point, but we can definitely hear it. Yeah, we could probably argue that it's definitely just Nico slapping Dan over and over again. Dan probably crying, asking for his mum. Oh, what's, what's Dan going for here? Is Dan going for a driller on one of the, the tables we've got here in Revs. Nico Andrew looking to get a reversal. This match is all over Revolution. Oh, we've got someone wild. What are you here. doing, Nico? What are you doing? Mood salt from Nico Angelo. Is this the time now uh, for Nico Andrew to roll down Maloney and try and get a, uh, a cover here, Kurt? I think he absolutely should. Uh, I mean, if he's going to win in 14 seconds, then he, he should probably get, get it moving because it's, it's been a couple of seconds. It's been a couple of minutes. No, oh, yes. He's climbing the beam of revolution. He's just been thrown into a wall by Dan Maloney. I think that's the thing. Nico Angelo, I don't think he's ever come up with somebody as animalistic as Dan Maloney in the ring. Dan Maloney, obviously, close personal friends with Connor Mills. And if you upset Connor Mills, you upset Dan Maloney. And this is what happens when you upset Dan Maloney. Brutalizing Nico Angelo, just stalking him now, waiting in the room. And just goading Nico Angelo to get back in the ring after being thrown into a literal wall. Five more seconds, and this is the easiest night of Dan Maloney's life. Nope, he's not happy with that. Do you think that's why he's a Dan Maloney? Give Nico Angelo that, that, that rest in. Okay. Definitely not if you watch this. Oh! oh! A moonsault does Nico Angelo and a big shot to the gut. Dan just takes him out mid-air. Just throwing Nico Angelo back into the ring. Oh, what a sent on. As we said, and as we stressed, Dan Maloney representing his close personal friend, Connor Mills, in this contest, who obviously has a problem with Lycos Jim. Uh, People like Michelangelo in like us, Jim. Do you mean this? Uh, Dan Maloney has a lot to fight for representing his friend. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what we can say if Dan Maloney loses this contest today. Uh, Connor Mills will not be happy, I can imagine. Oh, a big kick to the back there from Dan Maloney. Michelangelo might give up. Interesting to see that Connor Mills hasn't decided to come and watch this professional wrestling yet. Yeah. Oh, you think you think he's going to join halfway through? Well, he's going to. Do you mean like he, he, he didn't come up right at the start of Nino versus Lycos, but he came out halfway through? So, or or he thinks that Dan Maloney's got this under control and he might not bother. Maybe he thinks Dan Maloney's already won this because I thought that for a while. It certainly looks like it. he's absolutely obliterating Nico Andrew, but Nico comes back you with a big slap. That one was bigger, I would argue. Yeah, I think so. Those chops, Kurt, they just take the wind out. You, you've taken a Dan Maloney chop many a time, haven't you? Oh, I've taken hundreds, and obviously they didn't hurt me, but I, when I felt them, I understood that a lesser wrestler, they probably would yeah. really hurt. No, I agree. That's true. Those huge shots there from Dan Maloney just obliterating the chest of Nico Angelo. Nico's win streak in Croatian pro wrestling might keep you uh, under uh, a bit of jeopardy here tonight, Kurt. 
Oh, I think it's already said and done, really. Dan Maloney's got this in the bag. Yeah, it certainly looks God, like it. It pains me to say that. However, though, Kurt, we have said that before about Nico, in Nico Angelo's matches. Do you mean he's, he's looked like Conor Mills had him beat? Uh, it looked like either Lee Hunter or Conor Mills was going to win that triple threat match. And Nico Angelo has the heart and the resilience to keep coming back and keep fighting. But as we said, Dan Maloney is a completely different animal. Nico Angelo had to backflip off of a balcony with both of those men in order to get that match yeah, exactly. under his control. There's no balconies available though. Well, so what's he going to do? A big old knee strike there from Nico Angelo to the face of Dan Maloney, taking both men down to the mat. Nico needs this separation just to have a bit of a, a breather uh, and a rest from the chops and uh, the bare knuckle fighting of Dan Maloney. That's exactly right. It was much less of a professional wrestling match and much more of a fight. Yeah. Here we go. As we said, both men slugging it out here um, for, for pride for Nicolangelo. Representing like this gym and, and obviously Dan Maloney representing his, his close personal friend of Conor Mills. A lot of, uh, both men have a lot to fight for in this contest. A big old chops, oh, huge chops. Nico Angelo with a big old clothesline. Takes Dan Maloney out. Could be going for that bucket buster. He hits it. Oh, I thought that was it. See, Nico Angelo can't afford to get frustrated in this moment, Kurt. He needs to keep the momentum building against Dan Maloney. He's got a good good chunk of momentum at this moment in time, but he needs to keep that going if he's got any hope of, of getting any sort of prize at the end of this contest. Yeah, you can't just sit there, Nico, and be like, all oh, fans, please cheer for me, please cheer for me. You need to be hitting Dan Maloney with your best offense right now if you want to beat this man. And in, in fairness, Kurt, Nico's best offense is from that top rope. And look where he's going. And Dan Maloney straight back up to his feet with a big shot. But imagine if he had gone up there 15 seconds earlier. He could have hit a move. He could have won this professional wrestling. Dan Maloney looking for a big superplex on Nico Angelo by the look of it. And Nico trying to put the brakes on. Nico with a massive headbutt to take him. Maloney back down to the mat. Oh, Dan Maloney shoving the left into the ropes by the look of it. And Probably an accident. Probably an accident that that happened. Yeah, or he just fell over, sort of, didn't he? I don't like Dan Maloney to lose his balance like that, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, look at this now, Kurt. Taking a move out of Connor Mills' playbook. Oh, Nico Angelo reversing it, knows what's coming. Oh, Nico. Oh, head springs to feet. Oh, a huge spear there spear. from Driller ready, but he hit the spear. The fans obviously appreciating the heart and the intestinal fortitude from Nico Angelo here to keep kicking out of the gruesome offense from Dan Maloney. Do you think this is Dan getting frustrated here, Kurt? Nico's obviously taking whatever Dan's thrown at him. And he keeps kicking out. But I you, mean, I th uh, would you be frustrated if you beat Rhino with a move and then you couldn't beat Nico Angelo with that same move? I'd be frustrated. That's it, exactly. But this is what Dan needs to do. He needs to hit him with that driller. Because he knows that if he hits that driller, it's, it's, it's game over. It's lights out, you know? On most people, yeah. On, on most people. Big power bomb there from Nico. Oh, my goodness. That was disgusting. Dirty landing on Dan Maloney there, but still able to kick out. History of shoulder issues from Dan Maloney, that could not have helped. But that's obviously what Nico was targeting. He could have gone for a traditional power bomb, but obviously knows it. That Void Walker from Nico Angelo. Disgusting. Oh, Dan with another big kick out here. Nico's thinking, what have I got left? What other moves can I do? Might be time to go to that top rope again now, Nico. No balconies for you, Nico. You gotta take something from your locker now, mate. Oh, look who's got to watch. Oh, and here we go with the first sign of trouble for Dan Maloney. Here comes Connor Mills. He's just up to watch his friend beat Nico Angelo. That's what he's done. That was a match in the court, is it? 
Oh! oh. And a low blow from Dan good. Maloney. A gut kick there from Dan Maloney. Oh, kick to the gut. I don't know why Nico's gone down so bad. It was just a kick to the gut. Oh. Arm drags out of the driller. Rolls him up. Boy. And, and Nico still gets the win. And Connor Mills straight in jumps on Nico Angelo. And after Nico attacked him mid match, this is fair. Connor Mills is just on a bit of a rampage tonight here at Creation Pro Wrestling. He seems to want to come out and watch every single match. I respect it. He is literally targeting every single member of Lightless Gym just because Nico was able to get the upper hand and beat him twice. Now he's beaten down Maloney. Here come Lycos Jim et al. Some close personal friends of Nico Angelo coming Kid Lycos, Kid Lycos 2, Kid Lycos OJMO, Kid Lycos Elijah, and Kid Lycos Billy Hayes. Maloney and uh, Mills want no part of uh, what's going on in the ring. Connor Mills must be conflicted here. Him and Mike Oakley have got matching trunks on. They're, they're literally wearing, they're wearing the same gear, they're close personal friends, but obviously Michael Oakley is not going to stand for what he's doing. Like even if your friends act up, you, you tell them about themselves, well, obviously. Michael Oakley knows what, what Mills is doing is wrong, you know. This is great from Michael Oakley, you love to see this. And you love to see that even more, oh my goodness. Michael Oku. Michael Oku. Just taking Nico Angelo down, he is out. And the rest of the competitors in the ring not happy about that. Seems like Michael Oku's picked his side. Well, you, you stand by your friends no matter what happens. I, I would argue that Michael Oku likes Collar Mills more than Michael Oku likes Lycos Jim. I would argue that. Certainly looks like this uh, this battle between Lycos Jim and, and Colin Mills and his close personal friends is definitely not over to. I can't wait to see where this goes at the next professional wrestling creation show. We'll have to see what uh, what transpires after tonight, ladies and gentlemen. After Nico Angelo increased his winning streak, went from, from two to three wins up. The, that, your counting is getting really good, Josh Holly. Thank you. I'm doing my best. Two plus one is indeed three. The saga of Nico Angelo and Connor Mills in Creation Pro Wrestling is not done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. Keep an eye on our social media pages uh, for any updates regarding this story. We will see you again soon here in Revolution Spot in Cardiff. We are your new favourite promotion, ladies and gentlemen, here in the heart of Cardiff. We are Creation Pro Wrestling. That is Nico Angelo, the king of creation.